Okay guys, I want to show you all this Canon Type Star 2. Uh, it's a it's a electronic uh, typewriter. Basically you have a little L LCD screen here. You type in a line, you hit enter, it prints that line that you just typed. Um, really nice little typewriter. It's so light. It's uh, probably only, a, I don't know, three or four pounds. And it does come with the really nice lid here uh, for protection and as you can tell it's in terrific condition uh, I'm sure it's at least 10 years old but man it looks like it looks like it could be a couple of months old just because it's always been uh, taken care of well and stored well too so uh, this thing is in really terrific condition and it does come with three packs of two uh, ribbon cassettes each. So you're getting six uh, typewriter ribbons in each one of these boxes. They're all sealed. Oh, oh wait, no, this one's missing one. I'm sorry, guys. So this one is actually installed. So you'll be getting five, uh, five of these little ribbon cassettes here. The one that's in there is uh, printing dark, so it does not need to be replaced yet. Uh, we will be testing that one out right now so I can show you what the typewriter uh, looks like when it's printing. Uh, so it comes with that lid. It comes with the uh, manual here, the instruction manual. And let's see, it comes with, I have it plugged in so I'm not going to show you all right now. You can look at the photos if you like on the eBay listing. Uh, but it does come with the power adapter you can plug in here or alternatively, turn it off. Alternatively, uh, guys, on the bot, here's the back side of it. Uh, you can also if you're on the go, you can put it's four D cell batteries in here. The battery compartment is clean, so no issues there. There's no corrosion or anything like that. Uh, it will not come with batteries. Obviously, uh, I think that should be obvious, but if you want batteries, of course, you can uh, buy them and put them in and use it where you don't have a power outlet. So, yeah, really excellent physical condition. Uh, let me go ahead and load up a piece of paper. I'm going to try not to block the view while I'm doing this, so it's a little cumbersome. And just put the paper in. And you can just spin the thing like that. There is a lock right here. If you pull this back, the paper will loosen up and you can you know, move it wherever you like. Um, so there, that's all we do there. And then I'm gonna type in, uh, this is an eBay demo of my type writer and you should see that uh, I don't know if you could see this or not but it's typing that line in this LCD display I'm gonna hit return it prints that line okay and then what I'll do is I'll just hit one two three four five six seven eight nine and you can see every time I hit enter it's going to print another line which is cool because if, a lot of times you know if you made a mistake you feel it when you make the mistake so you can actually go back and delete and correct it on the LCD display before it actually prints so you want to be in a situation where you'll be uh, using you know like liquid paper or whatever to correct so let's see how does it look I think it looks good let's see let's see if I can focus on this there we go there we go guys uh, and if the you know if it does you know wear out the ribbon I don't know how much use that ribbon has then we do have uh, five more ribbons right here really cool little typewriter guys let me know if you have any questions and uh Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.